A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day I will summon my servant Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David to Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. Responsorial Psalm Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Romans. O oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are His judgments! and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. At an opportune time, Jesus tests his disciples with a crucial question. Who do men say that I am, and who do you say that I am? He was widely recognized in Israel as a mighty man of God, 
even being compared with the greatest of the prophets, John the Baptist, Elijah, and Jeremiah. Peter, always quick to respond, exclaimed that he was the Christ, the Son of the living God. No mortal being could have revealed this to Peter, but only God. Cyril of Alexandria, an early church father, comments on Peter's profession of faith in Jesus. Peter did not say, you are a Christ or a son of God, but the Christ, the Son of God. For there are many Christs, meaning anointed ones by grace, who have attained the rank of adoption as sons. But there is only one who is by nature the Son of God. Thus, using the definite article, he said, The Christ, the Son of God. And in calling him Son of the Living God, Peter indicates that Christ himself is life and death, and that death has no authority over him. And even if the flesh for a short while was weak and died, nevertheless it rose again, since the word who indwelt it could not be held under the bonds of death. Jesus plays on Peter's name, which is the same word for rock, in both Aramaic and Greek. To call someone a rock is one of the greatest of compliments. The ancient rabbis had a saying that when God saw Abraham, he exclaimed, I have discovered a rock to found the world upon. Through Abraham, God established a nation for himself. Through faith, Peter grasped who Jesus truly was. He was the first apostle to recognize Jesus as the anointed one and the only begotten Son of God. The New Testament describes the church as a spiritual house or temple with each member joined together as living stones. Faith in Jesus Christ makes us into rocks of spiritual stones. The Lord Jesus offers us the gift of unshakable faith, enduring hope, and unquenchable love and the joyful boldness to proclaim him as the one true Savior who brings us the kingdom of God, both now and forever. Who do you say he is to yourself and to your neighbor? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I profess and believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are my Lord and my Savior. Make my faith strong like Peter's and give me boldness to speak of you to others that they may come to know you personally as Lord and Savior and grow in the knowledge of your great love. Amen. Amen.